Hello there, my name's Ollie Westbury. I am a journalist for The Express and Star. I'm here today at the Three Hammers Golf Complex. Um, I'm about to have a golf session with the Academy Director here, Rob Luck, and he is about to put me through my paces. You know, let's have a look, see how I get on. So have you played much golf before, Nolly? A little bit. A little bit. But not a lot, too frustrating. Too fr you too say that you, you, play, uh, you, you play cricket, right? Yeah. yeah. So and you play cricket to a good level? Yeah, yeah. Um, back in the day. Right. Well, golfing, can't have two, two sports that frustrate, frustrate the hell out of me. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's, uh, it's just... Um, and golf can be incredibly frustrating. Yeah, yeah. We always used to play on days off and stuff. Um, and I was always the worst. Really? And I'd be in the trees looking for the ball and then I'll be smashing it on the floor, the, the fairway, and then on the right. ground. So in the end, I was just like, oh, you go play golf, I'm, I'm going to stay at home. And you sort that out then, yeah? Yeah, 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 I just sort that out. Oh, that's gone right. It's not very far, that one, either. The great thing about this, we can just hit delete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can hit delete. Forget that. So what I'll be looking for, so to start the session here, we're just looking for a bit of a set pattern, really, so kind of where the golf balls are going. And yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, already there, you said to me that you're uh, just when we're warming up there, you're catching them a little bit, uh, well, a little bit low out of the face. The balls are going a little bit low, and you, you had a bit of pain in the fingers there, so a little bit. Yeah, feeling that. A little bit of fingers finger. Yeah, it's a problem. It's a problem. Oh, nice shot. 139 yards. Look at that. Oh, yeah, Augusta next week. Sure, that. How far should I hit it with this club? So, with the six sign, for somebody like yourself, young, fit, uh, healthy, I would say somewhere in the region about 170, 180. So if we're looking at kind of like your, your tour guys, they're probably around about 200-ish yeah. with the uh, with a six iron. So around about 170, 180. It's not all about how far though. Yeah. It's about how straight, how, yeah, yeah, how yeah. well, of course. Go on then, what am I doing wrong? Well, if you could just hit, can you just hit one more for me? Yeah, that, would be, uh, that would be great. So just to begin with, um, so new to golf, you played a little bit before, uh, cricketer, sportsman, uh, thin contacts has been your feedback so far, uh, frustrated golfer. Now, first few shots, pretty good. So what we actually, what we actually find um, now, what we're actually going to be looking for is first of all where the golf ball is going. So basing everything around exactly where that golf ball is going. So how, how straight, how, how high. Hello. Now, thankfully, we're actually uh, we've got technology here which we can look at so much information. Now, I'm going to use this information carefully here. I'm not going to bomb you with a whole bunch of numbers. But so for here, for example, these are your first bunch of shots that you hit for me today. We can see exactly how far that your golf club is travelling when it's striking the ball. So 74.7 miles per hour. At that speed, we should be hitting the golf ball quite a little bit further than we, we currently are. So the reasons why we're not is because of the quality of contact, okay? So what I'd be looking at here as well, what's actually would be concerning me from these few shots of it, is the way of which, if we just jump across here, is the way of which you're attacking the golf ball. So when we're hitting the iron in golf, we want to really ensure that that golf club is traveling with more of a descending blow. So we're hitting the ball first, followed by the ground afterwards. A big fault from many golfers, uh, many club golfers, is they try and pick the ball off the top of the turf. So with yourself here, what's actually happening when you're striking it? Your club is travelling on the on the upswing. Okay. Um, now, as the golf club travels on the upswing, so what then that will promote is the strikes a little bit lower at the face. Hence, why we get the finger stingers, the thin shots. But also, as the golf club travels on the upswing, we, we can see the first couple of shots there travel a little bit to the uh, to the left. Okay, so what I would like to do now, I'm just going to jump on the uh, 
on the video here, I'm just going to uh, just load up the last shot of which you you hit. Here we go. So what I've actually done here on the uh, the screen, I've just identified. Let's flip that, that light off there. So I've identified this is your setup position uh, for the last shot of which you hit. So. We can see here the red line, the vertical line up there, indicates where the golf ball is in relation to your stand. So you can see with yourself that that golf ball, if I use this as a, as a reference line, that golf ball is quite a way forwards in your stance. It's quite close to the forward foot. So that would be great if you're using a driver. So when using the irons, what I prefer to see, Ollie, is that golf ball position more in towards the, uh, towards the center. I think this could help you straight away here, just adjusting the, uh, the golf ball position, moving it a little, bit, a little bit back in the stance. As I play this video through, what you'll see, I'm just going to stop you now and get to the top of the backswing. So we can see when you've made your backswing, there's quite a shift away here. Okay, so again, great if we're driving the ball, but from because of this movement away from the golf ball, you're likely to interact with that ground a little bit too early. You're going to hit up and quite often hit it a little bit to the, uh, a little bit to the left. So recover really well, but yeah, that's where the thin strikes are coming from. So what I'd love to do, so if you could just swap places with me just for a second. So when you're setting up to the uh, to the golf ball, uh, quite different. Uh, so if, if you're playing cricket, you're not really having to kind of preset that that bat in any in any way. You're going to have to react to that golf ball. You're going to read it out of, out of the bowler's hand. So in golf, that ball's not going to go anywhere. It's solely relying on you sending it to the target. So to begin with, aim that golf club really well. So first of all, you see here I'm starting with my feet together with the, the line here straight in the center of my shoes, straight through my heels. Aim the club really well. Then we're going to position the hands. The way you're gripping the golf club right now is cool. We're not going to be changing that around just yet. Now, once we're happy with the aim and the hand placement, then I want to build accordingly. So you can see from here, I'll take a step to the left and maybe a slightly bigger step to the right, but the ball position now, as I've, I've taken a shoulder width stance, the golf ball position now is much more towards the center of my stance. Okay, so when I actually make my golf swing, that should now allow me to actually strike a little bit more ball first and ground after. When we're making our golf swing, I was going to give you one swing tip right now. It would be a case of trying to stay a little bit more centered, but we saw from that video there just how you were shifting off the golf ball this way. So a little bit more centered, ball position in the middle of the feet, and we're going to finish up like you've done here on that left side. Hopefully it's going to improve your ball striking. Should we, give that, a go? Should we give that a go? Let's have a go. So if you can just start off with the feet a little closer together, great. So you're going to aim that really well, straight down our, our string line, straight. So we're really, um, on, you know, we're purposely identifying target here and being specific about your target lines. So that's it, grip it. Excellent. Cool. And now build accordingly. Really good there. Really good there. Okay. I'm just going to jump in here also. I'm just, you see where your shoulder line is here in relation, if you just peer down, so in relation to the actual string line on the floor. What I'd love to see from yourself now, I'm just gonna square the shoulders up a little bit. I'm doing this again because what we saw to begin with is your ball flaps a little bit to the, uh, to the left of the target. Okay? Sounds good. Feel okay? Feels weird. Right, step away, start again. Oh no. Yeah, step away, start again. Repetition, repetition. Okay, put it on the ball when you're ready. Nice. Hey, okay, look at that. Straight as a die. A little straighter. Straight as a die. You know how far it went. One hundred and forty-one. We can do better than that. That's a PB. We can do better than that. It's personal best. I'm trying to hit it too hard, I'll miss the ball. Great, so set up position there, awesome.
Okay, so you can see on the, see on the screen here, Ollie, now, we've, uh, we've adjusted your ball position. So the left screen, this was you at the start of today's session. On the right, this is what we've seen now with the, uh, with the changes that you've, that you've made. I'm recording this, so I'll share this with you in case you get your own little keep safe after today's session. Uh, so what we saw from the, uh, from the data there, by improving the ball position, you hit it straighter, first and foremost, and we actually got you striking a little bit more down the golf ball. It's going to really, really help your iron play, less thin shots. Now on here, I've just identified the, uh, the golf ball line here, and we've also just give you a little halo there, so we've seen exactly how you were, how far you were shifting off the golf ball to begin with. So just take a, uh, a look here, the distance between the actual line to where the head is. So it's quite a shift off the golf ball. So what we're gonna see here on the right screen, we're still gonna see a, a similar move, bearing in mind we've only been working together for a couple of minutes, uh, but we can see now your upper body is much more in line with the actual golf ball line. So what that's gonna help when we're starting down, it's gonna really help improve your ball striking Ball followed by turf, give a little bit more distance, but give you the distance the right way without trying to smash that golf ball um, as hard as you possibly can. So great changes there. So set up position, ball more in the middle, and just straighten up those shoulders. Almost look like a golfer. Definitely looking like a golfer. Rob, thanks for the for the hints and tips today. Um, you know, if, if anyone's going down the golfing range this weekend and you got, if you had to give them a little bit of advice to help them improve, improve their swing, you know, what, 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 would it, what would it be? Give me your three best tips. Three best tips. Okay, great question. Uh, firstly, Ollie, really well done today. Great to, uh, great to meet you. You've got some serious game as well, by the way, so uh, real quick changes there. Uh, three tips for me if you're going to the range or course this weekend, Masters coming up, uh, would be, first of all, uh, have loads of fun. You know, first tip, just enjoy it. You know, this is the hardest game on the planet. It can be the most frustrating. Try and enjoy it. Uh, second tip would be uh, be patient. Let it happen. Yeah, I think the more, the harder you try in this game, the more it kind of comes back and bites you. Uh, be patient. Let it let it happen. And finally, probably my number one tip I'd give anyone, one of my favourite sayings from coaching would be do the basics brilliantly. Okay, so the basics being. Don't just aim it, aim it really well. Uh, don't just grip it, position those hands on in a really efficient position and aim your body lines really good to target. So do the basics brilliantly. Um, and then too many golfers I feel get so wrapped up in, in swing changes, which yes, swing changes are really important. But um, yeah, make sure that we're aiming it good, setting up to it pretty good. Uh, and yeah, you're gonna play some good golf. So those are my top tips and great to work with you.